What's up guys, welcome back to Travel Private. Today we are here at the West Palm Beach Boat Show with Off The Hook Yachts, and we are touring a 2005 Hatteras 100 foot mega yacht. This boat has two 1800 horsepower diesel motors propelling this 100 foot yacht across the water. This thing is absolutely insane, guys. Both engines were just recently overhauled and both generators were both just recently overhauled. I mean, look at the space. This is the back deck of this boat. I mean, this space is absolutely insane. So this seats a crazy amount of people. You can have an awesome party with your friends. These sides completely zip and come off. So it has amazing airflow. Something cool that I noticed they even have like security cams everywhere, which is which is pretty nice, especially with a hundred foot mega yacht. You honestly kind of need it. Dude, you think about it, a hundred foot boat. So most people drive around on like a 25 to 26 foot boat. This is four times the length of your average boat and like three times the height of your average boat. I mean, this thing is absolutely monster. I wonder if those 1800 horsepower diesels, like how fast this thing can actually travel. It's just so big. Yeah, it's massive. Cool, you, uh, you wanna go inside? Let's go inside. Stepping onto this 100 foot yacht, I wanna let you guys know that this yacht is just south of $4 million. Let me put that into perspective. So according to Google, most 100 foot yachts cost right around 30 million-ish dollars to start. That's brand new MSRP. So this yacht's actually a killer deal for less than $4 million. I mean, this thing has just been completely overhauled. Brand new carpet, brand new furniture. I mean, this thing is absolutely mint. Dude, I love the color combo too. I love the like the the off white that matches with the blue. It has that real like beach housey feel, yeah. um, which you definitely want, especially with. I mean, obviously we're covered by windows. Like both sides are have all these open windows, and then even the mirror up top. I really feel like does a good job making this space feel massive, and the bright white colors in here just add to that. Just totally, make it feel so like open and airy and. It's pretty awesome. Totally agree. The, the wood is absolutely beautiful, like the fit and finish. And then I'm six foot five. I mean, this ceiling feels way higher than it is because of the glass reflecting. Um, this bar is amazing. I mean, it's a, you, know, you step down into here. I mean, this thing is absolutely amazing. Serving drinks. I mean, can you imagine? I mean, this bar, so thick. I mean, look how thick this thing is. Yeah, it's, it's pretty serious. <laughs> I can imagine like eating breakfast out here, yeah. like overlooking the water just right out the windows. Your kids watching Blippi on there, spilling their orange juice <laughs> yeah. on the couch. Yeah. I feel like if Montauk, New York was a boat, it would be this boat right here. Yeah, it, it is super beautiful. I like moving over into here where you'd be eating a lot of your meals at. Um, I like how they put these pillars here. It looks really feel, good. I feel like it kind of breaks up the space, just like just enough where you kind of have two separate, like you have your eating and then you also have your- Yeah, you have your, your living space, space and your eating space, but like with all of the windows and with all the natural light that comes in, it doesn't feel crammed. Um, you know, a lot of boats feel like really, really crammed. I've never obviously been on a ton of 100 foot yachts, but this feels so spacious. I like the chandelier too. Great. It's just, it's just something cool and especially with the, with the mirrors and stuff, it just kind of adds a little bit more brightness into here. Can you imagine taking this thing to Bahamas and like the sun is coming up? Look at that. Yeah, it's amazing, for real. Right? As, as you say that, as the I sun that, literally comes out from behind the clouds. The sun is coming up, you're out on the ocean and you're just eating breakfast with your kids, talking about the market that day. Wow, dude, what a life. This thing is really cool. Let's go check out down here. So one really valuable part about this yacht is that it has five cabins. And then the best part, dude, a crew of four. Let's go check out the cabin. This is the main hub, as we see. Just like most of the airplanes we review, I mean, complete Garmin navigation. Garmin is like the king of navigation. Um, you have all the security settings, so you can see like, you know, obviously your crew, like the people on your boat, or probably the owner of the boat. And a little uh, teaser for what's to come. Oh. <laughs> there is a jacuzzi at the top. Great space, I mean, it's super high up here. I can't imagine driving something like this, but, I mean, the, the peripheral view is amazing. I mean, there's so much, you can see everywhere. Um, it's really cool, like I said, all the electronics, all the navigation. I mean, these things probably almost drive themselves just like the planes we review. So in here we have a giant kitchen. I mean, this refrigerator is bigger than the refrigerator at my house. I mean, the appliances are absolutely amazing. Four drawer, dishwasher, it, it all stainless. 
definitely bigger than most home kitchens. Like, yeah, this it is massive. This thing is absolutely insane. I mean, this island is amazing. I mean, look at the like white leather. I mean, this thing is just like the the detail is so beautiful. I mean, all of the pictures, all the wood. I mean, all the natural light. This is a huge kitchen. I mean, it's yeah. the complete width of the boat. I mean, it's just massive. You have all this natural light coming in. Yeah. It just makes it feel. It makes it feel bigger every time you have that. Yeah. Have that natural light those brighter colors, it, it feels awesome. And I would imagine when you're out at sea and like you're actually using this for what it's be used for, like people would get claustrophobic yeah. if a boat manufacturer doesn't do a good job of making you feel like you're kind of in like an open space. For so this, sure. this boat has killed it on that. I mean, I might be sold, man. I might have to shell out $4 million to buy this boat. Harrison, can I borrow $4 million? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me go grab that. <laughs> Let's head downstairs. So this is our first suite. I mean, guys, this bed is amazing. I would lay in it, but I think I would go to jail. So we've decided not to. <laughs> this is super cool. I mean, this is the front of the boat. It has a good amount of room. I mean, all of this. You'll notice in yachts a lot that they do do a great job of putting storage like basically everywhere and using the space they do. really well. Like, I mean, yeah, this is, this is fantastic. You got drawers under the bed and stuff, put your clothes and then you obviously got all these uh, cabinets up here. And then honestly, a great use of space. If we go over here to the bathroom, they kind of tucked it under. They did, under the kitchen. Yeah, under the kitchen, which was such a great idea. Gives you a ton of space. And the way like the shower works and the way that like the sink sits and the kind of the configuration, like you could be taking a shower, someone could be taking a shower and like someone could also be getting ready. I mean, I don't know like what you're into, but um, it feels really big. Um, and the glass, once again, like, Sunlight, glass, mirrors, the mirrors, like they use all of that to basically make this feel so much bigger and they do such a phenomenal job. Like you feel like you're in a huge house. Yeah. Um, and all of the gold accents throughout this entire boat have been completely redone. So, I mean, they did a great job making this thing look basically brand new again. I mean, this looks like a brand new yacht from 2005. For sure. So we've shown you com the complete main deck of this ship. Now we're gonna head down to the lower level. Follow me. We got a bathroom right here if you need easy access for people that are being entertained. Let's head down. So this is now the lower level of the ship. We have the master bedroom in here. We're gonna get into that in a second. But over here, we're gonna start. Right here, we got the two, we got this bunk room. Uh, this could be, I, I'm guessing for your kids, maybe your delinquent friends. Um, and then we got two rooms over here. Uh, both look very identical, just like the opposite of each other. This one has plenty of space for two people, and then it also has access to a bathroom, which the bunk also shares access with. So that's really nice. I mean, if that were to be your kids, technically you guys should share a bathroom. You have direct access to them. Like I said, once again, tons of storage. You have a window, um, you got a TV. And then this one is the exact same. So this one has its own bathroom with a tub and shower and everything. Um, it's not shared, but this is a great size room as well. I mean, two people could easily sleep on this bed. Yeah, what's nice about this is th these aren't small rooms at all. Like, no. I don't know if you can get that off of the scene from the camera, but like these are, what are these? Probably queens, queen size beds, like they're massive. I mean, if you're coming from like a 28 foot Cuddy Cabin Sea Ray, this thing is gonna feel like the Ritz Carlton. I mean, this thing is absolutely mammoth. Yeah, it's something I was noticing too. Like, just like the floors and stuff, yeah. everything is tile, everything is, it's none of it's like fake. You would think with a boat, you're like, oh, we gotta make sure it's real light. Yeah. So it doesn't, I don't know, like, none of that is like that. You don't feel that at all on this boat. Yeah, you everything would think. is so high quality, it's solid wood, it is truly the best of the best materials that they had when this boat came out in 2000. I guess there's no weight savings on yachts. All right, guys, so now it's time for the Mac Daddy of it all, the master suite. Oh, guys, as you can see, this thing is huge. It's the complete width of the boat. I mean, if you can't get comfortable in here, I don't know what your issue is, but this bed is huge. You have so much space, drawer space, complete like vanity to get ready. T huge TV. I'm assuming this is a closet. I think it's a bathroom, isn't it? No, this is a closet. Oh, it is a closet, wow. Yeah. You think that's the bathroom? Let me show you the bathroom. So this bathroom has dual access, one on each side. This could be your sink, 
and then you enter into the shower and your wife's sink could be completely over there. Dude, it has two toilets in here? It has two toilets and it has what? a shower you can pass through. Dude, that's insane. I this, feel like- This is the, like one of the biggest bathrooms I've been in, period. Not just like, not just like boat size. I feel like this bathroom could save your marriage, honestly. That's what I feel like. This bathroom is so big and you get so much separate space. This, need, this boat's needed for it to save your marriage. So what's also great about this room, just like the rest of the boat, the use of all of the mirrors to make this feel bigger, and then the closet space. I mean, you got a closet there, you have another huge closet over here. You can literally have all of your stuff in here. And then this entire space here can be used for someone getting ready, for someone, you know, doing, doing work. Doing work. Use it as an office space. You can use it as an office space. Um, and then, like I said, there's just so much bathroom space and usually, on a boat, you would imagine a very tiny bathroom. They've utilized literally the entire width of this boat to fit it all in. Honestly, all the bathrooms are pretty decent sized. There they was are. A, the one bathroom over there off the one room uh, had like a jacuzzi top. I know. Which is crazy. Like, just like, that's insane. So it's just the front, it's just the back of the boat and they use the space great. I mean, I think being a boat like architect, like understanding like where to put these things in a boat is a serious art because they've utilized every inch of space in this boat. Yeah, and I love, I love these kind of windows. You've got that kind of like nautical feel yeah. window. And I like also, you're pretty low to the water. So when you wake up, it you just feel like you're sitting on the water. Like you're you're right there. Yeah, if you're off the coast of like the Bahamas, you literally just look straight out yeah. at the water. Yeah, it's just beautiful blue water. Cool. All right, so let's go to the upper, upper level. Check I think, out right? the third level. Let's go. So we're up on the upper level of the boat and this has an insane view. I mean, this is like the view here, what you can see, how high up you are. It's absolutely incredible. Complete Garmin, secondary command center, secondary command center, Garmin. The original command center we showed you is down these stairs. So you can just like quick access, come up here. But I mean, who wouldn't love driving a boat being this high up? I don't know how you don't hit stuff though. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> just want to throw that out there. Uh, but this thing is absolutely amazing. I mean, you get insane views. I mean, this is all obviously, it looks like you can zipper all this off, get great airflow. But it also is, has AC. It also has AC. Harrison's big on that AC. Um, so you can run three people right here. And I then- This little awesome island. This is a great like entertainment island. This is where you would really probably spend most of your time on the boat. You throw up a football game, you know, two football games. People are just hanging out here. You're entertaining. You have your drinks right here and you're seeing everything as this boat is rolling. Yeah, amazing 360 views. I mean, again, we're in West Palm Beach at the boat show and like, just look at that. It's it's pretty sweet just looking out the windows and seeing, I mean, there's a guy out here with a paddle board just hanging out. This is, this is truly like the place you would want to be if yeah. you're hanging out on this yacht. I mean, even in a marina, this is still like such an amazing view. I can't even imagine taking this thing out of the water. Yeah. Now we're gonna check out the Mac Daddy of it all. On the main deck space, there is so much to do. You have your sun lounge, you have, you know, your grill area if you wanna, you know, grill up some burgers. And then people can be hanging out in the jacuzzi. They can be drinking along the outer part of the jacuzzi. Which was such a good idea to do that because yeah. typically you just have a jacuzzi in the middle and it's kind of the end of the day, but. Yeah, and this, if you're in your jacuzzi, so nice. it's kind of like a little wet bar. You can just put your drink up here. Yeah. It's absolutely amazing. Yeah, um, and some cool too. So you have this massive crane that you can put on a, a dinghy or a jet ski, something like that. But they even put the hammock on there yeah. just so it's not like an unused yeah. item, which is kind of cool. And, and you have all this deck space. I mean, you could really lay this out however you want it. I know they put some like tables and chairs here, but like you could lay this out however you want. Yeah, and even having this nice like sunshade yeah. draped over, it just makes this whole entire outside so usable. So we are here at the front of the boat and there is so much space. I mean, this is all a lounge area up here. I know it's covered. Lounge area up here. You have the, you know, your seating area down here. I'm sure while you're cruising, this is just the best sp spot to be. Wind's in your face. You can see everything in front of you. Um, and getting out here is super easy. I mean, there's a nice wide deck. You can walk, you know, pretty tall sides of the boat. You feel like you're kind of on top of the world out here. 
Thanks a ton guys for watching this video. If this is something you might be interested in purchasing, you guys can check this boat out at offthehookyachts.com. Contact Ryan, but this boat is absolutely amazing. Thanks a ton for watching guys. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification button for more yacht content. Okay guys, bonus footage. We just got access to the cruise lounge. Come on and check this out. Yeah, right here we got this awesome little kitchenette and this awesome little table where they can kind of hang out in. And then over here, we got the captain's room. And then over here, we got the bunk area. And then back here, we got the engines. Twin V16, 2000 horsepower. <laughs> just like my car. <laughs>